Snap's drunk. Welcome back to Secret of Mana. S secretive Mana. It's a secret, secret to everybody. <laughs> That's what I used to say uh, in that Legend of Zelda thing. When you find a hidden area. Ha ha ha. Ah yes, the old anime gag of being 200 years old and she's actually looks like a 20 year old girl except her face is really disturbing there I don't know what decision who, who made the decision to make her face look like that but anyway yeah we got evil monsters we got swords that need to be charged I guess just plug it into the wall charge it up Electric swords. It's no fairy tale. <laughs> Typical line. And of course there's an empire. But the empire barely... I guess it gets more involved later in the game. But it's like... It's not much of an empire. <laughs> Come on, Gemma. Every time... Every time we meet up, you just want to leave. It's like you don't want to hang out or something. What's with that? What's your problem? Oh, goodbye. Shut, shut the stairs off before you leave. Uh, the sword kind of freaks me out. You know, since it's like, it like called to me. Why me? Why not just some other schmo? Uh, no way. No way. <laughs> like I said in previous episodes, the game does explain why this schmuck was chosen. It explains like his ma like why his mom had to leave and all that stuff. Normally games like this don't really do that. It's just kind of generic like tra la la. Who, me? That's impossible. Oh, it's it's a it's a but as H C Bailey would say, it's a but thou must scenario. Like in the first Dragon Warrior, it gives you the option to say no, but it just re it just cycles past the dialogue again. So it's like, what's the point of having the option if I just have to pick the? I don't know. Give the illusion of a choose your own adventure kind of thing. Did she just say the the seed and the sword were one? That's disgusting. Now, when I played this, I was probably 11 years old, 12 years old, back as a kid, but I would have, hey, I got a spear, extra weapon, cool. But uh, I would not have picked up on how uh, you, you, use, you use your sword to fertilize the seed, eh? 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 Yeah. Anyway. Uh, no, that won't be necessary. I'm playing on the Retron 5, so... And God, he didn't shut off the stairs before he left. How rude. You gotta shut off the stairs. Every time you go to the water palace, you gotta shut off the stairs. I mean, you're wasting electricity keeping them up there. Let's get out of here. Where are we going? We're going to Gaia's Naval. And that's where the uh, dwarf village is. And that, since we have a sword orb from, this, from beating that uh, first boss... We get to uh, apply that to the sword, shake the rust off of it, and uh, use it to smack some more rabbites and some more uh, walloping lullabies or whatever these are called. <laughs> eh, screw off. What are they called? They're called like they're called something lullaby. Ah, I forgot all about that shit. That legitimately like. Caught me off guard. I've played this game a million times, but I completely forgot about that. I was legitimately gonna <laughs> it's like, oh, do, 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 do. dang. I guess that's my fault. Help! <laughs> well, this is no good. 
I'm in a smiling pot of boiling water underneath the fire. Hey, who's that? Hmm? <laughs> Excuse me. My line always cracks me up. What the hell are you doing, you idiot? It's the story of my life. Let's blow this pop stand. Now, who could she be looking for? Is she looking for Gemma? Maybe. Is she looking for Dialuck? Maybe. I mean, well, how many other characters do we know? So, if she ain't looking for me, she's either looking for Gemma or, Di or Dialuck. And let's let us take the long way. I suppose we could go to uh, take the Cannon Travel Center. Excuse me. <coughs> Jesus. Sneeze out of nowhere. We could take the uh, Cannon Travel Center on our way to uh, Gaia's Naval, but then we wouldn't have fun squashing enemies and stuff. So let's take the long way and level up. And, um, yeah. Seeker to, ma Seeker to Mana. Mana. Some people say mana. I say mana. I don't know if there is an actual correct pronunciation. It was, uh, the word mana reminds me of Magic the Gathering. Gotta cut this grass here. This, this guy let his lawn get out of control. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if, 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 how the, what the right pronunciation is, but, um, mana reminds me of, uh, Magic the Gathering. And I played that very briefly, um, when I was like, around the time when I played this game, actually. I was like 11 or 12. I want to say it was like when 4th edition was out and Ice Age was new. That tells you how old I am. But, um, ooh, two of these things. Extra levels and stuff. But uh, I did not enjoy what the original rules of Magic the Gathering were. I thought it was way too slow. And my friend and I just did not have patience for it. So we just pretty much came up with our own rules. I don't remember specifically what they were, but I remember they were just, our games were so much more faster paced. Where you could ta tap mana or mana um, anytime you wanted. Uh, and we would have like epic games. He had a, um, a blue deck, a blue and white deck, and I had kind of a, a red burn deck. Um, and I had a black deck too that I really liked with the Lord of the Pit and um, Will of the, I had a bunch of Will of the Wisps. Uh, it, my black tech was so annoying to play against. Um, I'm just rambling. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, somehow I'm in Pandora. I think we need to go through here to get to uh, Gaia's Naval. <coughs> hey, uh, an armor shop. That's cool. Or is this guy gonna? No, he's in a. He's in some kind of stupor. Something's going on with these people. Something happened. It's like they're all Scandinavian or something. That's what's interesting about, uh, ooh, why, what happened? Oh, they're stuck like this too. It's a, Scan it's a Scandinavian thing, I'm convinced, that when people, um, people from Minnesota, people from Michigan, there's a lot of Danish, a lot of Norse, a lot of Swedes, Finland, a lot of those people that, um, like second, third generation from the, uh, <coughs> A lot of Canadians too, of course, and you know Canadians come from Scandinavia as well. But um, get out of my way. <laughs> People of that uh, nationality, of that ethnicity, I guess, um, they um, really are quiet. They're not sociable. Like in Minnesota, you never make eye contact with people on the street, not because you're afraid to, but because you just don't even think to. You just kind of keep walking. You don't say hello. You don't smile. When you do talk to people, people are really nice. But, um, and you go to New Mexico and everybody's just like staring, you know, stares at each other and like everybody's always talking and s people are smiling and just as friendly here as they are up in the Midwest, but it's just jarring how different it is. 
Uh, old grandma's about to kick the bucket. Uh, oh, a clue. Oh, grandma's been going to the going to church down south, and it's sapped her brain. That's too bad. So, huh? We'll have to look into that later. I do like how this game has uh, certain has like a lot of different things going on right off the bat. Like you've got ruins down south that are causing problems in uh, the kingdom of Pandora. Ooh, I can actually buy stuff here. Do they have anything? Hmm. But yeah, you, you've got that going on. You've got the Gemma stuff going on. You've got the stuff with the sword. You've got the stuff with the girl. Pretty soon you've got a whole other thing coming up once you get to the dwarf village. So there's a lot going on right away. I didn't give this story enough credit, I don't think. I think it's pretty... I think it's... I don't think the characters are that great, but I think the story is pretty good. It's better than it... <coughs> it never occurred to me that it does it in this manner. Anyway... Let's uh, check out Pandora's Castle. Is there anything up here? I honestly don't remember. It doesn't look, looks like that's just pointless. Anyway, calling it an episode. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.